Now, the biggest construction project in San Joaquin County is brought to a halt. Streets in downtown Stockton closed. Police and fire are called out, all because one man was able to climb a construction crane. And tonight, the question is, how did that man get access to that crane? The man climbed the crane this morning at the new downtown Stockton courthouse. KCRA3's Melinda Meza explains how that man got onto the construction site and how police finally talked him down. Fire and police were called out, and all construction work came to a complete halt when a 19 year old Stockton man was able to climb over a fence and up this 300 foot crane. I was speaking to him last night, and I was like, What's wrong? He goes, I don't know, Jenny. He goes, I don't know what I'm going to do. Police say the man was involved in a domestic dispute last night. And we were able to establish two way communication. This crane operator right above the man was able to hand off a two-way radio. Then police crisis negotiators immediately started talking to him. That's when, when you got to think about your daughter and go, you know what, I need to overcome this so I can see her be that father that she needs. Our crisis negotiators saved a life today. They are highly trained for these type of incidents. Five crisis negotiators were on the scene. Each one goes through rigorous training. And just be that calm voice, be that good active listener because you don't want to agitate the person who's in crisis because that'll just make the situation a lot worse. I never thought that he'd do something like this, you know, because he's always coming to me. The man did climb down and a crowd of people on the street say they were relieved. Some say they were friends with the man and would spend time at the park together. In Stockton, Melinda Meza, KCRA 3 News. And we did contact Turner Construction, the company in charge of the courthouse project. We do not know how much money was lost today, but police say security monitors are in place. Meanwhile, the man was taken to the hospital, and police say they will determine if he'll be facing any charges.